What is up guys? Welcome back to damngoodcooking.com. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to make some burgers and we're going to make it in the Oyama Turbo Oven. Now the Oyama is still going strong for us. Check it out. Now this thing has been with us since we were in California. I gave you guys the very first video review when I made the uh, nice delicious ribeye in this baby. And this thing is still going strong. I love this thing. And we're going to make some burgers in it. That's right. We're going to make some hamburgers in the Oyama. I don't think there's anything you can't make in that Oyama. Just note to you guys, we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored by Oyama. Would be nice. Hey, Oyama. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this guy. And before we get started, let me see. Is there anything I don't like about the Oyama? Actually, it's, it's probably one thing. Only one thing I don't like about the Oyama is the handle could lock in place a little bit better. I've had this issue a few times where I was pulling it off to try to grab the food and this baby would just slip off on the end. Like right here, you can kind of see. Uh, no, I can't get it all. Now I want to act like it's completely sturdy there, you see. But it pops out like that. So sometimes you grab the food, the next you know, the thing drops, you try to grab it and the heat and everything is actually underneath this device here right there and that, that's probably the only drawback the only drawback I have is that so I mean if that's my only complaint it's a pretty good machine and I'm pretty sure on the next models they may fix that or whatever I really don't see a point and why that has to come off it comes on the security mechanism here once this is pushed in that's when the heat is applied and the device turns on so I don't really see why this comes off it doesn't have to I don't know that's the only thing. Now bear with me, it's hot. I should have used the kitchen downstairs. It's a lot cooler down here. I just turned on the AC. And sorry for my absence with the damn good cooking videos. I've been a lot more active on my other channel. I'll put that link in the description so you guys can check it out. It's the Mad DIY channel, where I do a lot of technical type of reviews, household DIY, repairs, just ideas, you know, cool things. If you like Penetris, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely like Mad DIY. So make sure you check that out. But I've been on there. I'm gonna be more active here and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna honestly tell you why before we get started. My schedule, I always say this, I've been so busy. I mean, those who kind of know us personally, they, they know we, we have several different businesses that we run, a total of eight now. So eight businesses and these are all going full time and there are all different things, different genres that we tapped into. And about the time when it comes to cooking, I'm so starving that it's, it's I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's really tough to try to record a video and maintain a good positive energy and your stomach's growling and you know that this video is gonna stretch you out from eating about an extra 45 minutes to an hour. So honestly, that's what's been happening. So I'm gonna create a new plan. I'm gonna make sure I set aside enough time to have some lunch or at least have a snack so I can get you some more damn good cooking. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the patties are made. Go ahead and season it to your liking. I'm gonna go drop some adobo on there and then some pepper. I might spice it up a little bit, I don't know yet. And then I'm just gonna drop some tomatoes, onions, and green onions, sprinkle green onions on there. Yeah, I know, combination of onions. The only downfall to onions, your boy loves onions, but the only downfall is your wife doesn't wanna kiss you afterwards. But we're gonna hook it up, we're gonna hook it up. Let's go ahead and get this over to the Oyama. With your Oyama, you just simply plug it in, for those who aren't familiar with it, you just simply plug it in, set your temperatures, turn it on, and go about your business. When you hear the little ding, you come back, either flip it over or it's ready, depending on what you're making. So they have a little cheat sheet here. You got your poultry, you got your pork, pizza, lobster, fish. You can even make muffins in this thing, cupcakes. I'm gonna have to make some cupcakes in here. Try it out, Oyama cupcakes. That actually sounds pretty good. But for hamburgers, of course, the little cheat sheet is in there. Once you get one, it does come with a little recipe booklet to kind of guide you through certain items and hamburger actually is in there. I'm going to use the 350 temperature and I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes on one side and then I'm going to come back and do it for another 10 minutes on the other side. Wait for the ding and feed my belly. 
I'm gonna let you know how it turns out because I've actually never ever made a burger on the Oyama. So it might take a little bit longer. It might be a little bit shorter. I will let you know. Top off. Burgers on. I'm gonna use the top roll for the burgers. Now what I've learned over time with using the Oyama, anything at the top is gonna to be a little bit crispier, have a crunchy type of effect. Of course with the burgers, I don't think we're gonna get that. So if you want it to have like a fried chicken effect, use the top rack. If you wanna have a baked chicken effect, use the bottom. Don't use the rack at all, use the bottom. It's gonna be more moist up top. It's gonna to be more crispy. Just a little cheat I've learned. So depending on how you like your food, but for the burgers here, so it's not, I mean, you don't want a dry burger, but I think down at the bottom, especially once all the juices start flowing, it's nowhere for it to really go. I think it's gonna be a soggy burger. So I'm gonna go with the top rack for this. So load it up, drop it like it's hot, 10 minutes, boom, that simple. While the Oyama's is going, I need to make some side. So how about some fries? Fries sound good. <laughs> Well, there's two minutes left, and not gonna lie, it's looking pretty good. It's looking juicy. It's looking really juicy. So it's not gonna dry out on the top rack, but as I said, at the bottom, I think it would have been a little too soggy. I don't know, but so far, so good. Really excited, two minutes left, so let's hit you with some burger facts. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. These facts might not be so appetizing if you're about to eat. It's gonna be about hamburger, so if you don't wanna hear, just skip ahead a little bit. I don't know, it's not too bad, not too horrible. But fact one, did you know that hamburger, it comes from the least appetizing part of the cows. Also, in a pound of ground beef, you would assume that it's just one cow, but it can actually be a thousand different pieces of little non-appetizing parts of cows. That's interesting. Fact two, and I did just get the ding there. Veggie burgers aren't really as healthy as you think. Widely popular in India because you know they don't eat beef, but they contain soy and soy contains hexene and hexene isn't really a good thing. It's an air pollutant, which is a byproduct of gasoline refinery. An Apple factory worker actually died in 2010 for using it to clean the screens of Apple products. Had too much of it, so that's your second fact. And your last one, this one is a little overboard. Sonia Thomas holds the world record for eating a Big Daddy cheeseburger at nine pounds and she ate it in 27 minutes. Now your boy likes hamburger. That's just a little bit too much hamburger. That was probably like 90 different thousand cows mixed together. Well, congrats to you, Sonia. At the 10 minute mark, yeah, those babies look juicy. That looks nice. So let me go ahead and find something to flip this over with. Ah! Oh, gotta save you. There we go. Oh, we're even gonna get the little grill rail marks. Not bad, Oyama. Not bad at all. Make it look a little fancy. I don't think we need 10 minutes, maybe five, but I'm gonna go for 10. I like my food well done, so let's drop it back in there. Five minutes to go, it's looking good. But your fries? Sorry, Dave, your fries didn't turn out too good. I had to put them down there. Look at that. What is What are those? Now instead of using my air fryer where the fries come out perfect, or even my oil fryer that I have that I love, I decided to do it old school way because I'm trying to rush here because my brothers, they have a podcast that's coming out uh, on SSWI TV. Make sure you check those guys out. SSWI TV Game Nation. You can check out their Twitter. They're doing really big things with the gaming. So I'm trying to hurry up. So I decided, let me go ahead and place these fries on the skillet. But as you see, they didn't turn out that great. Yeah, it's like with all this new technology, I'm losing the old school way of cooking. So I guess I'll stick with the healthy air fries from now on. Oh, nice. Let me get a little knife and let's cut one open and see what it looks like. Not exactly little, but it'll do the trick. 
and you can see it's still juicy. And the inside is done, folks. Wow. Burger on the Oyama. So you got this little crispy effect on the outside, but as you've seen when I cut it, very juicy on the inside. Let's go ahead and give this a taste test. So there you have it folks, nice delicious juicy burger on the Oyama Turbo Oven, fantastic. You've seen how I went a little overboard with that Tabasco sauce, but that's how your boy likes it. Let's put the top on there, let's give this a taste test, let's see if it's worth it. I'm trying not to get any Tabasco or ketchup on the shirt there, but, hmm. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. That really is delicious. If you haven't tried it, put some burger on the Oyama. I'm, t I'm telling you, it's delicious. You're not going to go to McDonald's, Burger King. That's good. That's really good. That turned out good. You can see it in my face. I'm, I'm happy about that. I got to go. I got to eat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Wow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to be more active with this, guys. Make sure you check out my other channels as well. But it's your boy Dave, Damn Good Cooking, signing out till next time. Peace. How about the bash?